Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have part one of my pamper routine. So this is gonna be everything that I do pre-shower. And then in the next video, you can expect everything that I do in the shower and everything I do post-shower for my pamper routine. So let's just get right into the video. By the way, everything that I use in this video is gonna be linked in the description below as usual. So you guys can check out any of the products there. First thing I'm gonna do is remove my press-on nails. The press on nails that I use are by Kiss and to remove them I just run warm water over them and pull them off. These nails have actually been on for two weeks. At about the two week mark they start to get loose so this is when I usually pull them off. After I take off the press on nails I buff and smooth out my nails. and then I cut my nails down. I cut them into a square shape because they've actually grown out quite a bit since I've had my nails on. I'm gonna try to grow out my nails, so I wanna start off having them all the same length and the same shape, so that's why I'm cutting them down. And then I clean my nails. I use this little nail brush and some hand soap. I just scrub my nails, like the cuticle area underneath my nails. Then to remove my cuticles, I'm using the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover, and I just apply this all around. I let that sit for about 30 seconds. Then I just push back my cuticles using this little nail tool. After my cuticles are cleaned up, I rinse everything off and I use the OPI Nail Envy nail polish. This is a nail strengthener, so it strengthens and protects your nails against chipping, peeling, and splitting. It basically just makes them less prone to breakage. It makes them more resilient, which is gonna help as I try to grow out my nails. Next, in my pamper routine, I'm gonna do oral hygiene. This routine is very simple. I'm just starting off with toothpaste. I'm using the Crest Optic White Toothpaste and an electric toothbrush brush. I didn't show this in the video, but the night before I actually switched out my toothbrush head, which is important to do for oral hygiene. So just make sure that you're on top of that. Then I'm flossing my teeth, also very important to do. And finishing up using alcohol-free mouthwash. This is the Crest Pro Health Advanced Mouthwash. It's important to use alcohol-free mouthwash because if you use mouthwash with alcohol, it's gonna get rid of all of the bacteria in your mouth, which is going to make your mouth overproduce bacteria, which is then gonna make your breath smell bad. Next, I am going to shape my eyebrows using this mapping string. The string has ink on it to make it easier to map out your eyebrows. And on the little container, it says that the ink is permanent, but it comes off pretty easily, so I don't think that it is permanent. Just an FYI if you're planning on using this. Eyebrow shaping is important because it helps to create the perfect eyebrow shape for your face. And I've really been trying to perfect this so I can learn how to easily do my brows at home because now that I have two kids, I really don't have the time to go to the salon as much as I used to, but I'm just trying to learn how to do them myself at home. After I map out my eyebrows, I pluck my hairs that are on the outside of the white lines. And if there's like a lot of hair in a certain area, I will shave them. I'm really trying to get to the point where I can just wax because that would be so much easier than plucking, but I am a little bit nervous to try to use wax. I don't want to burn myself, but I would like to get to that point. So if you guys have any tips for waxing, please let me know. And then this is the finished result. I think I did a pretty good job. My right eyebrow looks good, but I definitely could have done a better job on my left eyebrow but there's not a single thing I can do about it right now because I've already removed the hair. All I can do is let them grow out a little bit and then try to do a better job next time. Moving on, now I'm gonna cut my hair. I start off with a heat protectant. This is the Chi Barbie heat protectant. I apply this all over my hair. Then I straighten my hair. This is a hair straightener by a brand called Ella Bella.
and I part my hair down the middle from the front all the way to the back. I make the part as straight as possible and as much in the middle as I possibly can. Then I bring all of the hair to the front and I try to brush it down as flat as possible and I just try to make it as smooth and even and brushed out as possible. Then I bring the hair together in the front and I tie my hair together with a hair tie right under my chin and I do this with four hair ties. I like to use hair ties that are contrasting with my actual hair color so I can easily see my hair and make sure everything is like straight and then I cut the very bottom as straight as possible. This gives you a blunt haircut no layers with a v-shape in the back. And if you're wondering why I'm even cutting my hair in the first place, yes, my hair is long and I love the really long hair, but I just had a lot of split ends. I prefer to have hair that is healthy over hair that is extremely long, plus my hair is still long even after cutting it. I don't mind trimming my hair because I just want it to be healthy. Next, I'm going to pamper my scalp a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the New Derma Portable Handheld Skin Therapy Wand Machine, and I'm using the comb tube. It's intended to promote a healthy scalp and lush, healthy looking hair. It's designed to stimulate hair follicles, which can lead to improved hair follicle health and thicker, healthier hair over time. The high frequency treatment can stimulate blood circulation, enhance nutrient delivery to hair follicles, and improve overall health of hair and scalp. Those are just the claims of the product i've seen a lot of like good reviews and good results from this tool i'm experiencing postpartum hair loss i'm really trying to grow back the hair that i'm losing as quickly as possible based on the claims of the product it seems like it is a good tool to use to help with hair growth one thing about this you're not supposed to use it for that long so i only use it for two to three minutes and i just keep the comb moving on my scalp as I'm using it. Then I am going to oil my hair and I have been obsessed with this Brio scalp massager. I don't know if it's Brio or Breo, maybe Breo. I've just been obsessed with the scalp massager. I use it with the Briogeo pre-wash rosemary hair oil. You actually can put the oil in the scalp massager itself. I prefer to apply the oil directly to my scalp because sometimes it can take a long time for the oils to come out of the scalp massager. This tool is designed to enhance hair and scalp health it has 72 round comb teeth bristles that move to stimulate human massage. Yes, this is directly from the website. It promotes blood circulation, it unblocks scalp follicles, and relieves muscle tension around the scalp and neck. It also uses red light therapy, which stimulates hair follicles, reduces inflammation, and improves cellular metabolism, which can promote hair growth and prolong the active growth phase of hair follicles. Again, coming from the website. So that's what this tool is supposed to do. It's extremely relaxing and I just love it. The very last thing that I'm doing in this pamper routine is I'm going to oil my hair. I am going to use the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Moroccan Sleek Smoothing Oil and the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil. I apply these together to my hair before I wash my hair. This helps to protect your hair from water damage in the shower. That's not like a claim on the products, but that's just how I've always used them. It also makes your hair extra shiny after washing. Side note, I have been using the Garnier Fructis oil for literally 15 years now. And when I was in high school, I used to keep it in the shower. I would get in the shower, apply this to my hair, and then turn the water on in the shower and wash my hair. Because I noticed that it would make my hair really shiny after I washed it. I had no idea how it was doing that at the time. Now I know it's because it helps to protect your hair while you're washing it, but it really does work. So this has been part one of my pamper routine. Look out for part two. That's gonna be the next video I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.